Well, I'm joined by no other than the fabulous, hilariously funny Sean Williamson. Better known as Fat Barry from EastEnders. Aww. For Sean Williamson, there's just no escaping the name Barry. The actor and singer soon to appear in Rhinestone Mondays at Wolverhampton Grand Theatre was going to have to endure being called Barry again until he put his foot down. In the original script, he was called Barry. I know, it's fantastic, isn't it? So I phoned up the writer and I went, look mate, no more Barrys. I've been Barry and EastEnders, Barry and Extras. I'm going to be Barry and Ricky Gervais' new comedy, Life's Too Short, coming up, so there's no more Barrys, no more. So, no Barry, but there is a B. Sean plays the role of Brian, who runs a failing social club. I play Brian, who is the proprietor of the Warburswick Sports and Social Club, and it's on very lean times. Uh, people aren't using his club, so um, when the line dancers start rehearsing there, he sees this as the chance of something uh, uh, taking off because it is big in certain parts of the country, you can't deny it, line dancing. So he encourages them every way he can. He lays on food, American themed evenings. Known for being able to belt out a tune or two, Sean gets to sing a few classics. I get to sing uh, Blue By You, which was a hit for Roy Orbison. I get to sing um, A Thing Called Love by Johnny Cash. And I get to sing Achy Breaky Heart, which is the, the line dancing anthem by Billy Ray Cyrus himself. Aside from singing, there was the small matter of a few dance steps to master. Sean recently put them to the test along with thousands of others at Wolfstock in Wolverhampton when helping to set a world record for the most people simultaneously dancing to a single track at a country music event. I can't see it lasting long with the Americans. They'll, they'll probably crowd 35,000 people into the Dallas Super Bowl and break it in style, but for the moment we are record breakers. Also appearing alongside Sean is Lim Fall and former Steps group members H and Faye Tozer. So could working together mark a reunion for the band? We're filming a documentary series at the moment um, and it's lovely to have the guys back in my life. And we're building bridges and talking about things that happened back then. So one step at a time, let's see what happens. I, I would only do it if there was public demand. Faye confirms she wouldn't rule out a band reunion, but in the meantime is eager to get on the road in Rhinestone Mondays, which arrives at Wolverhampton Grand Theatre on the 13th of September. I've done loads of performances at the Wolverhampton Grand, I have, yeah. <laughs> I know where my dressing room is and I know I've got a kettle in it and I know the bloke at stage door. <laughs> Sainsbury's round the corner, brilliant. <laughs>